This is the Bible, the Word of God. During this service, it will be proclaimed. You're invited to spend a few moments in silent prayer to prepare for the service. Good morning and welcome to worship at Cheam Methodist Church. After the busyness of Easter week, Sunday services during this time while we are unable to meet together in our building will be a short service containing prayers, a Bible reading, a short reflection and a closing blessing. I hope that in future weeks we'll be able to get members of the congregation involved in doing the Bible readings and the prayers, but until then you're stuck with me. We start this morning's worship with a prayer based on Psalm 16, which is the psalm for today. Let's pray. Keep me safe, O God, for I come to you for refuge. In your presence, O God, is joy and contentment. Show me the path that leads to life. You are my Lord. Every good thing I have comes from you. In your presence, O God, I find joy and contentment. Show me the path that leads to life. I bless the Lord, whose wise teaching guides my days and centres my mind at night. God is always present with me. I will not live in fear or abandon my calling, for his presence surrounds me wherever I go. In your presence, O God, I find joy and contentment. Show me the path that leads to life. So my heart is glad, my soul is full of joy and contentment, and my body is at rest. Who would ask for anything more? In your presence, O God, I find joy and contentment. Show me the path that leads to life. Now we will pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen lisa is now going to read our gospel reading from the Gospel of John. This morning's Gospel reading is from John chapter 20, verses 19 to 31. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sides. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone his sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. 
Now Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe it. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands, reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus did many other miraculous signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. Thank you, Lisa, for that reading. And now some thoughts about that passage. I find it interesting that in this reading from the Gospel, things are the same but different. There are similarities between our current position and the disciples' position. We are stuck inside, worried about the danger that is outside. The disciples are hiding inside because of a danger outside. One difference is that, in our current situation, breathing on someone else could be considered an assault as it might pass on the virus. Jesus, on the other hand, deliberately breathes on his disciples to give them his spirit. But there are other ways in which the Gospel reading is the same but different from something else. Jesus is the same but different. Jesus is the same person who had been their friend for three years and then nailed to a cross and died. He had the scars to prove it, but he was different too. He appears in a locked room without anyone opening the door. He does this both the week when Thomas wasn't there and the week he was. After his resurrection, Jesus is the same but different. The way that John writes this chapter is the same but different to his first chapter. The first chapter reveals that the Word made flesh makes the invisible God visible. The Word was life and light. This chapter, which was probably the original final chapter of John's Gospel, shows Jesus giving new life. As Jesus breathed on his disciples, he gave them new life in his spirit. The disciples are now the same but different. They are still the humans they always were, but now they have a new role in their new life in Jesus. Jesus has given them peace, and he's commissioned them to tell people that their sins are forgiven. As Jesus was sent by the Father, the disciples and us are sent by Jesus. Our mission is the same but different to Jesus's. The mission is the same, but Jesus has accomplished it. We, however, are to implement it. In the same way that a composer composes a piece of music and an orchestra plays it, Jesus on the cross accomplished the new creation. We, as his disciples, are to implement it. 
Our last, same but different, is creation. In the creation story in Genesis, God breathed into the clay and the human beings had life. Jesus breathed on the disciples and they had new life in the spirit. After Adam and Eve had eaten the forbidden fruit, at, at the time of the evening breeze, they heard the sound of the Lord walking in the garden. In Hebrew and in Greek, the words for wind, breath and spirit are all the same. It's the same but different wind, breath, spirit that is in the upper room. Through Jesus' work on the cross, creation is renewed. It's the same creation, but it's new. It's a new creation. So because of Easter, life is the same but different. Amen. And now we're going to finish with a blessing. Keep the Lord always before you. If he is beside you, you cannot be shaken. He will show you the path to life. And in his presence, you will discover unending joy. Amen.